was pandemonium after a duel ensued between the Fulani boy and one of the residents of the community. There was a palpable tension on Thursday evening after a Fulani boy was allegedly killed in a fight by a resident of the Anguan Buru in Niger State, Sarah Reporters reports. According to a night witness, Idris Beyoku told Sarah Reporters that there was pandemonium after a duel ensued between the Fulani boy and one of the residents of the community where 15 people were abducted on Monday. It was learned that the Fulani boy collapsed and died. The death of the boy led to an attack by Fulani men who came in their numbers to avenge his death and started destroying property and injuring people in the area. The fight might be connected with Monday's abduction of 15 people by armed bandits which has heightened tension in the area. Another crisis has erupted. A Fulani boy was killed, so the Fulani people are trying to avenge the death. People are saying this kidnapping issue is done by Fulanis. And the particular area the boy was killed was the same area the 15 people kidnapped. The dead boy had a fight with someone from another tribe and he died in the process. The name of the area where the incident is happening right now is uh, Aguan Boro. The Fulani are trying to avenge so they came to that place destroyed people's property and injured people Beyoku said there was however a report that the intervention of the operatives in the nigeria of the nigeria police had quelled the crisis in the community but the police have come to the rescue he said okay the police have to come to the rescue hmm. this whole thing eh, is, is 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 gaining ground it is fulani 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 it's all about a uh, Fulani, this Fulani, that they are all over the place. They are everywhere. Imagine the Fulanis from neighbor, neighborhood country, neighboring country, fighting for the sons of the, uh, fighting with the sons of the soil because they have patron in Nassau Rock. Fulanis are not, uh, do not come from neighboring uh, country. Majority of them are the sons of the soil. Try to know the history of your country, which history mr lecturer <laughs> well which soil you said they are from where don't say you ever complete uh, the statement where there is any problem where there's any problem in nigeria whether north east and the south fulani must be there out of 200 million people in nigeria fulani are, are only 4 million people 4 million people causing insecurity. Well, your papa in Asso Rock will soon leave till uh, the tide will turn and you will find your way to Futa Jalon and play too. <laughs> you can these people, eh? those who are saying that uh, uh, Buhari will leave by 2023, the question is that is Buhari even in charge of the country as we speak? Those who are running the show, who are running the affairs of this country, and you think. Uh, they are doing it just that in the next uh, one or two years they will just stop or uh, they will just carry their kayago. People must be joking because I'm seeing it from that angle that it's going to be a continuation. Buhari's name might not be there. Oh, you know, normally, uh, officially that is the president. But with the way these people are going, they they want a continuation and they are not doing all these things just for less than two years and they are out. <clears throat> Anybody thinking in that direction must rethink or must have a rethink. Must have a rethink if you don't know. Well, yes, in the history of Kirby State, they are never fight against any tribes or religion or political crisis, and majority of them are Fulani. It's Fulani. Any one or group of people pampering evil cannot escape the consequences of evil. Uh, don't sleep and lose your eyes because they will take you unannounced. Keep watching and be. Prepared. Well, someone say it is fake news. Someone say it is not fake news. It's happened now. That is how people go about. Continuation and they are also rearing cows in the bush in the name of their tribe. He say what? He say Dindima. We also have a some Fulani which are uh, used to call them Gurumada. They are communicating with Fulani language, but they are fishers and farmers. They are from Kirby State and they are very friendly and peaceful. But please confirm 
from your brother or sister i know that from anywhere in nigeria you are you will have some one that we know KB state either by business or NYC. Very peaceful state. And since 1999 to date, is Fulani ruling starts. I don't know what this person is trying to let us know. Try to know your history before you will comment. A Fulani boy fought with another boy. Fulani boy fell down and died. A weak and lazy tribe. They will wait till women and children are asleep. Then carry out their revenge. This is what they are good at. Cowards. They key no problem. They are kid. Everyone's fall. If they key, there's no problem. But if they are kid, everyone will fall. And they will begin to make excuses for them. And their leaders will just look the other way. Oh, as if nothing is happening. Whatever, whatever it is, you never at war with your enemy and go to bed. It is dangerous, my friend. God will fight our battle. Well, okay, Sahara reporters are hell bent to stalk conflict in Niger State, under which local government or town is a Aguan Buru. Okay, you need to go and ask that question. Somebody say it is not true, somebody say it is true. Uh, which one are we going to believe? Uh, but one thing we know is that there is fire on the mountain. The Senate President and the House of Rep, uh, uh, Speaker of House of Rep, but Yabi Amila, some of them are saying there is fire in the house. There is this, there is that. They see. But the question is that they feel that they are too, they are too comfortable. All those leaders or politicians, they call themselves, they are too for, comfortable in their, their exalted seats. But, but don't, they, they should not be surprised that they will stay inside his AC and they will be sweating. Because when the heat will come, they will, all of those things that they think that they have gathered, giving them comfort, that do not even make them to have a feelings for other people. All of those is they will begin to lose sleep over them. Now they say they're saying there's fire on the mountain. So what are you supposed to be doing? Who are you complaining to? Why are you complaining? Why are you not say doing the needful? And you come here and be telling us cock and boo stories. All of you will suggest, suggest, suggest. Oh, I think this will be the solution to this whole thing. At the end of the day, you guys leave that particular place ah, and do nothing about what is going on. And you come out and be telling us rhetorics. You want to you want people to you know, you just want to tell people what they want to hear. And at the end of the day, no action whatsoever to back up this whole thing. So, how are we going to continue with this, this kind of a system? It's just, 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 just unfortunate.